Hi folks, it's Jeff from J. Allen Pipes. I'm here today to talk to you about my new J. Allen Design Tools. Uh, for a lot of years, there have been a lot of pipe makers who have wanted to use tools like this but didn't know where to get them. They're... This spoon bit is designed with a bull nose for a round bottom on the tobacco chamber. They come in four sizes starting at 11 sixteenths up through 7 eighths and are separated by 1 16th of an inch in size. Um, these bits cut really, really well. They make a really nice smooth chamber on the inside and they're not hardened so that makes it easier for the headstock jaws on your lathe to grip the, uh, the shaft and also it makes it very easy for you to hone and refine the edge if you need to sharpen this tool with a diamond file. So the first thing that you need to do when you are doing Danish style drilling is after you have shaped the pipe, you need to draw these guidelines on the pipe. The first line that you will draw is this center line that will run all the way around the pipe. The second thing you need to do is draw your center lines on the end of the shank and on the top of the bowl. Then you center, find the center of your your bowl or the direction that you would like your tobacco chamber to travel and you extend that line from the center of the top all the way down until it reaches the bottom where you've drawn your center line there. Do the same for your mortise line here. And then the final line that you will draw you'll go in about where you expect your draft hole to meet the bottom of your mortise. You want it to be as close to center as possible and then you will draw that line all the way to the point on the bottom of the bowl where you would like the, two, the chamber and the draft hole to meet and extend that line all the way around. After we do that, then we take three little blocks of briar and we're going to super glue them on those spots. Now both of the pipes have had the blocks glued on. I use a little bit of spray uh, accelerant to speed up the drying of the super glue and then I've sanded the blocks so that the lines can be as close to perpendicular to the to these lines here as possible to make it a little easier to get your endpoint to stick on the uh, to, to stick on the blocks when you need to drill it then I've extended the drawing lines to each point when hand drilling a pipe the first thing that you need is a pin like this that has been blunted on one side and sharpened on the other. This pin will go in the tailstock and we'll use to center the pipe on the blocks that we have glued. To drill a tobacco chamber, the first thing that I have done is drilled a pilot hole about 5 16 of an inch and I've made sure that it connected with the draft hole that I've already drilled. Now I'm going to rotate, I've rotated my pin around to the blunted side so that it doesn't crack and break the block on the bottom as I'm advancing it. And I'm going to use the, the lathe with the drill bit turning at about 400, 3 to 400 RPM, pretty slow, uh, to advance it with the uh, quill on the tailstock um, to the proper depth. I'm advancing it slowly at the beginning to make sure that I'm perfectly centered before I plunge it. And now I'm advancing with the quill. You want those ribbons of briar coming out. If it's coming out as dust, you need to sharpen your bit with a diamond hone. 
very easy to do. And we'll take it out and we'll check our depth. I've still got about maybe an inch to go. hear myself hitting the bottom of my pilot. Getting very close to the bottom now. Okay, I've reached the bottom of my pilot and I just want to be sure that I go to the exact right depth. And here we have the completed hole made by the J. Allen Design spoon bit. The nice thing about these spoon bits is that first of all they cut very well, they're easy to sharpen, and they're made from non-hardened steel so they grip really well in the headstock as well as that helps them to be easy to sharpen with nothing more than a diamond hone. Though you can, if you choose, use a grinding wheel to create a concave surface on the, on the cutting face or on the cutting edge. Of the, uh, of the drill. Um, and the other nice thing is that if you need, if you finish drilling your hole and you realize that you'd like it to be larger, all you need to do is step up to the next size of drill, use your end point, or if you're confident and can be safe when doing it, just hold it in your hand and advance the larger size uh, to enlarge the hole of your pipe. This can even be done after a pipe is finished. Uh, or to ream a pipe that comes back to you in uh, need of a restoration. So there we have it. These are the J. Allen Design Tools. I hope you guys enjoy them, and please give me your feedback. Thank you very much.